Tuning in for some movie reviews Film flickers and movie reviews Let's hear those movie reviews Film flickers and movie reviews And action! Hi Film Flickers, it's Jay today and yes I've managed to drag John away, stuff him in a cupboard and do my own bit. That's uh, not entirely true, he's just letting his special guest season for the holidays come in. So Because um, I'm generous. Because you're generous, yeah he's alive, he's well, he's behind the camera. But um, here we go, uh, my choice I suppose, there were so many I could have chosen from. Gremlins was probably a firm favourite up there along with Back to the Future and a couple of others. True Romance but... That's one of my favourite films, so maybe he'll let me do one little skit on that later down the road. But um, this is about a Christmas story, and the reason I love this film is because it is something I watched years and years ago, and I haven't been able to watch it every year, so it makes it every little bit special every time I get to see it. Now, it follows the story of um, a kid called Ralphie. He's also got a brother called Alfie. Ralphie's a little bit older than Alfie, so in terms of the tale of this kid. Living in the 1940s, um, it's a film written by Gene Shepard and Bob Clark, um, narrated by Jim Shepard, and he narrates as an adult Ralphie for the film. So whenever he's talking, he's he's looking back at that distant memory of his childhood. And um, originally, the film was written and based on short stories, and they're all sort of stitched together. So it it, it really makes for different scenarios within the film, especially with his dad and um, his school life and his his family life as a whole. Um, set in the 1940s, as mentioned before, um, this Christmas he kind of wants this little Red Rider BB gun. Um, his mum was always saying, uh, you'll poke your eye out, and he kind of gets this instinct that he's never going to get it. Parents are never going to let him, they're going to let him have it, but he looks at the shop window and he just really, really wants it. and. Um, I'm not going to spoil the plot for you um, to see whether he gets it or not. That's down to you to watch it. Um, but there's just some real classic moments that you just don't see in movies perhaps now. And um, some of it is a little bit eccentric perhaps. Um, especially the visit to see Santa Claus and especially at the end when they have their Christmas dinner. Again, I don't, don't really don't want to plot spoil it for you. Um, but... Where can I go without ruining it for you? Yeah, he gets bullied quite a lot by this kid called Scott Farkas. And that's quite entertaining. And um, the inevitable happens where he, he really does uh, fight back. And um, that's quite amusing to watch. And also the, the, the narration, when, he, when he's having that fight, um, really brings that reminiscent sort of feeling of, I've had enough. And, you know, we can all relate to that at some point in our life, you know, You've either been the bully or you've been bullied, so you can relate to so much stuff within this film, especially that particular moment and the few pranks that go on while they're at school as well. So it's some real great stuff. Again, just stuff you don't see in movie making now, which I think is probably the reason why I thought hard to choose this film. Um, I originally tried to hunt this film down. I ordered it from Amazon, realised it was only an American region DVD so I couldn't actually watch it so I've been staring at the case for many years and until uh, it would come back on TV and allow me to watch it again. Um, there's no real familiar, familiar faces really that I see now in movies but um, I'm sure they've been in other stuff, probably American TV shows perhaps. Um, I haven't really looked in to see where they are now, now they've grown up. That's a bit of a shame on my part, maybe IMDB would tell me a story there. Um, but again, a quality Christmas film, and given the option, I had, I had so much to choose from. But um, I just hope you just give it, you know, an hour's watch and sort of see if you like it. Because I guarantee, if you give it even half an hour, I reckon you'll see it through because it, it did really well. I mean, it was made with a three million budget back in 1983 when it was released, and that's quite a lot for back then if you think about it. But it still managed to take about 19 million dollars when it was out, so definitely did well. It's what I believe is an American classic. Um, so if you do like your, your American culture films, um, you, you do like a little bit of eccentricity in your films, um, definitely one to watch. I hope you enjoyed mine. Um, bye Flickers.
Thanks for watching the video, and if you did like it, then please hit the like button. And if you want to see more from us, then please hit subscribe. And don't forget to leave a comment below. And if you've got any suggestions for films that we should be reviewing in the future, please leave us a nice little message. Oh, and check out our previous videos.